In this presentation we're going to look at how to compute Laplace transforms for the following functions. This is a sort of straightforward enough exercise. What we're going to do is we are going to do some simple enough Laplace transforms and I'm going to mention quite uh, a lot the uh, Laplace transform tables. So they should be up on my, my website uh, but uh, if you just look at the links down below in the description you should be able to find it there. Uh, let's get going. So the first example is find the Laplace transform of t squared. So if you're looking at the Laplace table of Laplace transforms and go down to the third one you'll sort of see something like this. So Laplace transform of t to the power of n is n factorial over oops, uh, t s to the power of n plus 1. Here very quickly you can tell that n here is going to be equal to 2. So what we have here is 2 factorial over s times n plus 1 is 3. So the Laplace transform is, we'll write it like this, capital F of s is equal to 2 over s cubed. Okay, so that's the first one, that's straightforward enough. So the, again, it was the third Laplace transform table uh, entry cos of 6t. So what we're going to do is go down a little bit further. We're going to go down to about the ninth or 10th and what we're told here is cos of at the past transform of cos of at is s squared sorry s over s squared plus a squared and so here necessarily a is equal to 6, okay, so, whoops, gone too far down there. So the Laplace transform we're looking for is s over s squared plus 36. Just a sort of quick remark, if you're looking at the sine of at, Laplace transform of sine of, uh, let's say, 6t, that would be the one just beside it, so that would be 6 over s squared plus 36. That's the one just above it. Uh, here again, a is equal to six. So, and a squared is thirty-six. So that's the first two. Let's move on. <coughs> uh, the past transform, the past transform of e to the three t. So, if you go to the fourth item of the table, you'll see this. The past transform of a t e to the a t is equal to. Um, 1 over s minus a. Okay. Here s or a is equal to 3. So what we have is therefore a Laplace transform of e to the 3t is 1 over s minus 3. Watch out for the signs in this one. We have a, a 3 here and we end up with a minus 3 down here. I'll just give you a sort of counter example. e to the minus 3t We'll give you 1 over s plus a. Okay. Let's do that again. 1 over s plus a. Or 1 over s plus 3 in this case, actually. If we have a negative value here. So just watch out. Essentially what I'm saying is watch out for the signs in this, in this case. So, number 4. t times e to the minus t. Well, if we go to the fifth item in the table, we have see something like this. t to the power of n by e to the minus, or e to the at, okay. That works out to be n factorial over s minus a times, or to the power of n plus 1. Okay, there's a, this is actually sort of a, a relates to something later on called the shifting theorem, but I'll, I'll leave that shortly until we get to it. n equals 1 here and a is equal to minus 1. Okay, you can check that yourself. So n factorial, the past transform of t e to the minus t is 1 factorial, which is just 1, s minus a is s minus minus 1, so that's s plus 1, and n plus 1 is 1 plus 1, that's 2. So what we have here is 1 over s plus 1 squared. Okay, 